Hi there. Um, this is going to be my weekly weigh-in video. I think that this is, I think it's week five, like, um, my, um, one month, like, my one month post-op was, um, two days ago, but I think, I think this makes it, like, the beginning of week five or something like that. So, anyway, um, my starting weight was 271. My weight last week was 238.6. And this week is 236.4, so it's a 2.2 um, pound weight loss in the past week. And overall, it's 34.6. I hadn't done um, the math for where I was at, like, you know, for the last two months. Even though I only had my lap band surgery last month, I began sort of dieting and exercising. Um, just kind of began the weight loss journey um, probably around the 10th of May, I guess. Um, so, you know, I'm, I'm really happy with that number. Um, looking at the, uh, the paperwork that the doctor's office had given me, my weight being at 236.4 is about one pound above where they wanted me to be at my 90 day mark. So I would say that like right now I'm looking pretty good. I can't believe that like, that I'm like above average, I suppose, like when it comes to, or I don't know, I, I mean, that's just my thought that it may not even be above average at all, but I'm just thinking like, if I have reached my 90 day number at my technically 60 days, but really only 30 days after lap band surgery, I think that's, you know, I'm really very happy with that. So anyway, um, I had written down earlier in the week, some of the, like some of the struggles that I've been having. Um, and I know last week, whenever, um, Whenever I came on, I was like, oh my gosh, things are amazing, and I'm eating less, and this half a cup, and blah, blah, blah. And it, it, definitely I'm eating less um, than, than I ever have before. Um, I, I'm not having, like, cravings, per se, as long as, I'm, as long as I eat. Now, when I don't eat, when I'm hungry, um, I, I do tend to crave, like, everything under the sun. But I, like... I think it's just because I'm thinking of what I can get to that's like really fast and oh my gosh I'm gonna starve to death if I don't get something so you know as long as I go ahead and I eat what I had planned on eating you know which is pr generally protein um, once I'm done I, I'm not having any cravings anymore and I think that I've said that all along which is which is really it's just awesome it's really awesome but anyway um, I had called last week I was um, I think it was on Monday or Tuesday of last week, I wanted to eat something. And I think it had only been about maybe like three hours, two and a half, three hours after I had eaten. And so I was ready to eat again. <clears throat> and I didn't feel hungry, but I felt like I wanted to eat something. And that was new. Now, work was has really been very stressful um, the last week. So I think that, like, I'm just you know, stressed out and probably like emotional eating or whatever. Um, really, I just like to eat all the time, but it, you know, before this, I've been doing really well, but this was, this was a new feeling, um, for the past month because there haven't been many days, I think at all actually, where I just wanted to just eat to eat, you know? So, um, Anyway, I called my doctor's office because one of our, we have what's called patient advocates and they're people that we can talk to, you know, whenever we have questions and they've had lap band surgery and they've been successful with it, blah, blah, blah. So I called him and I left a message and I was just like, you know, I'm wanting to eat when I'm not hungry. And that concerns me because that has not been the case for the past month, like since lap band. And I had my first fill like a week ago. So I'm thinking that like, if in like, I really probably shouldn't be feeling that way. And so I said, you know, if, like, if this is just crazy and I just need to talk to a therapist, just, like, send, you know, let me know that and I'll, and I'll, I'll look in, you know, I'll definitely check into that. But, like, if there's something else, you know, that I can do, if you guys have any tips and tricks, any recommendations, please let me know. I just, I haven't wanted to eat when I'm not hungry and so that concerns me. So he called me back and he was like, that's really funny. I'm not going to tell you that you need a therapist. Like, it just sounds like you're not in the green zone. Um, and he's like, you know, what probably happened is, you know, right after you get the fill, your stomach kind of swells, everything's swollen in there and, you you tend to just, you, you know, you tend to get full more quickly than, than not. And he's like, but I think, you know, just, just keep on track with your, with your, um, fills every two weeks and you should be good to go. So I had my fill scheduled for July the 31st, my next fill, which would have been like my two week fill, even though it was like almost 20 days out because I didn't want to, I didn't want to have to take time off work. I wanted to be able to go in the afternoon, blah, blah, blah. But then work has, um, 
work in the past few weeks has scheduled for me to go out of town to two of our offices to facilitate some training. Um, and so I just said, well, I'll just cancel it and then I'll just go pick back up on August the 14th. But based on his recommendation, I thought, you know what, it's not a good idea to, to miss this feel. Like, I didn't, I didn't have this lap band surgery to not follow the rules exactly like I should, so I think I really should do that fill. So I went ahead and I scheduled it for next Thursday. So I'll get another fill next Thursday. I don't know how much I'll get. Maybe, I don't know, maybe one cc or something, I guess, depending on what they give me. But um, anyway, I, I'm looking forward to that because um, I just, I really, and it could just be that it's just been stress and stuff. But anyway, um, I... Sweets have also been kind of challenging this week, and I i haven't really had any sweets for the past two months, like since I started this, you know, weight loss journey in May, um, and it, sweets are, they're not a problem in that, like, oh my gosh, look at this, I'm stuffing my face full of, like, cookies. It's not like that. I'm not bringing stuff into the house that I know is going to be a trigger for me, so pizza has got to stay out of the house. I can still eat that with my lap band. Um, I tested that, so I know that I can still have that, but I don't want to have that because, I, you know, I, I want to lead a different lifestyle, so, um, but my, you know, my family is, is not necessarily doing, you know, they're not living the lap band lifestyle, but they also don't eat, you know, cookies and, and sugar and stuff, even, like, even daily. I don't even know that they do it you know, once a week, but last, um, last Sunday, my children had had a really hard workout there in wrestling, and, um, it was a, it was just a wrestling workout in a couple of hours, two and a half, three hours, and my youngest son wanted a ice cream, wanted an ice cream after that, so, um, we went to, again, we don't do that often, but I went ahead and went to Sonic and just got him some kind of a, some kind of an ice cream that they had there, and, he didn't eat it all, and so it was sitting on the counter, and what I should have done was just thrown it away, um, but I didn't, and it was haunting me, and I just wanted that flipping ice cream so bad, so, and there was about, you know, this much left, so, um, I measured out, <laughs> I measured out an ounce of it, and then I threw, I dumped the rest of it in the garbage so that it would, like, go on stuff, so I wasn't even, like, tempted to go back in the garbage and, like, fish it out and eat it, because that's, I'm like a drug addict when it comes to food, and that is just, it's just sad, but, you know, it is what it is, and I'm trying, you know, it's why I have a lap band, because I want to, you know, I want to overcome that stuff, and I feel like I have felt um, what it's like in the past 30 days to be, to that sense of satiety, I know what that feels like, and I know that I, that I won't crave them, and if they're not around me, I'm not going to eat them. So, um, anyway, I measured out an ounce of it, and so I ate an ounce of the ice cream, and then, um, that night I did, like, a double workout, um, and then last, yesterday, my husband comes up to me, and I'm, I'm, work, I mentioned before I work from home, and he had just, he had just come home from the store, and he's like, close your eyes and you open your mouth, and I never like to do that, I just, I mean, not because I'm afraid he's gonna put, like, a roach in my mouth or something, but just because I just, I want to know what's going into my mouth, but I went ahead and I did it, and, and closed my mouth and chewed, and it was like, <gasps> This is amazing. What is that? And it, it was an Eminem pretzel. What the hell did he put an Eminem pretzel in my mouth for? Right? Like, it, it it's just so stupid. But so I ended up having four more Eminem pretzels. Um, <laughs> And then, so, and apparently he bought, like, this gigantic, like, a king-size bag of M&M pretzels. What the hell is he doing bringing that in the house, you know? Like, uh, he just, he doesn't have a, a food addiction, so, like, if he doesn't want something, he just doesn't have something. And, and even though, like, I've, I've, I've told him, you know, like, I, I literally, I feel like a drug addict because I don't feel like I can say no to the stuff. If it's in the house and I want it, like, I'll just go have it. And... I will practice self-control, but all it's going to do is piss me off, and I'm going to get in a bad mood, and then just, like, it's going to haunt me, and I'm going to just want it. So, um, so I was like, you know what, you need to put them away, like, I, they don't need to be in my eyesight at all, like, they need to go away. So I came into the bedroom last night, and the big-ass thing of pretzel M&Ms were, like, on the armoire, and I'm like, seriously, Dave come get the damn M&Ms and put them up. And I'm like, and don't just put them, like, in a drawer. Don't put them in the top of the closet. Don't put them in, you know, like, on the plates in the cupboard. Like, they need to be 
hidden, like good, out of the house, you know, preferably. Like, I do not want to be able to find them. So, and, and he, so he, he put them away and I just, I just walked out and he put them away and I, um, I don't know where they at and I haven't looked for them and I, I don't anticipate, you know, looking for them, but <sighs> anyway, I just, I have to, I know that I have to keep them out of the house. Um, I just <sighs> feel like, you know, when I'm around stuff that, um, that is not something that I'm eating anymore, something that I really want badly to move away from, that I just feel like I could just break. Like, like I'm not strong enough to overcome um, just the want of it. And the things I wasn't, I've never even had a pretzel m m before. Like, never in my life have I had a pretzel m um, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't even have tried a pretzel m m honestly. Like, that isn't even something that I would have eaten. Not like Reese's King Size, whatever. Those, I'll eat those. But, um, but I'm staying away from those. I know not to have those. Um, I just, it just, oh, that's what it feels like. So, I'm looking forward, you know, again, I'm still practicing self-control. I'm still, um, choosing protein first. Last night I had a really hard workout after having those five, um, the five pretzel lemon M's. Um, I did some hills in this park and stuff, and there was just I had shred, you know, sweat dripping all down my back into my butt crack, which is disgusting. Like, ooh, gross! You had sweat dripping into your butt crack, but then it's like, oh my god, I had sweat dripping into my butt crack. Like, I must have been working out really hard because that doesn't happen all the time. So I don't know. I guess it's kind of kind of a bittersweet moment, I suppose. But you know, I I'm going to embrace sweat in my butt crack because that means that I'm you know I'm doing something. And, uh, and that's good. It, it's good. It feels good to, to exercise and stuff. Anyway, I'm done rambling. Um, so I'm really glad that I'm down. I'm, I'm looking forward to the next fill. I'm looking forward, um, to being in the green zone. And I'm, I, um, I'm just looking forward to continuing to practice self-control. Um, and just, I just really want to cut out, you know, stuff that, I, that pe pe normal people don't eat on a, you know, on a weekly or monthly basis. That's what I want to do. I want to, I just want to be normal when it comes, you know, from a weight perspective. I just want to be just a normal person. So just, you know, struggling, but, um, I, I know that I'm going to overcome it and I just have to stick with it. So anyway, that's that. Thanks. I hope everyone has an amazing week. Talk to you soon. Bye.